Ghosts from the past, the second haunting is now out. One of the most highly anticipated Yu-Gi-Oh sets of this year and for a pretty long time actually. So the release date for Ghosts of the Past, Second Haunting was the 5th of May. It's actually the 6th of May when I'm recording this because my delivery guy was like, you ain't getting this until the day after, so. And today we are opening not one, not two, but three boxes. And these things are actually so, uh, they're, they're like not that big, but my setup isn't like, I haven't got a lot of space in front of me, so they take up quite a lot of camera space. I can, I can show it in my face cam. That's how big it is. You can't really see it because it's really shiny and silvery. But you get four packs in one of these babies. And if you're not too familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! Or you have been living under a rock, watch what is so special about this set. Ghost rares, baby. So I think in total we have nine ghost rares in this set, if I remember correctly. I can actually pull up a list. Yeah, there's nine, nine ghost rares in this set. And my god, are they awesome ghost rares. You can actually see from the front, we have the... Uh, ghost art of blue eyes we also have dark magician girl on the front of one of the packs red eyes black dragon is also a ghost rare in here the winged dragon of ra <clears throat> let me ch channel my inner Marek. the winged dragon of ra sphere mode blue eyes ultimate dragon is right here i've got him in the back for some good luck is also a ghost rare and we also have things like dark arm dragon cyber dragon red dragon arch fiend and iron eye of tamias is also a ghost rare right so i'm gonna do a little bit of talking about this set while i get this first one open i'm gonna need some scissors i need to go over my mic here because my arm's in the way right so the pull rates for this set i have not got a lot of space in front of me the pull rates for this set uh have said to be two ghost rares per case and if you didn't know what a case was basically it's like two in every 200 packs which is crazy because you can't there's no like booster boxes of these they only just come in these uh little um uh what do you want to call them they're not display boxes because display boxes is what they come in in shops but these like little mini boxes you only get four packs and you're supposed to get a ghost rare in every 100 packs so it is said but i've seen on twitter and all sorts of social media on other youtube videos as well people have been getting ghost rares like like crazy in this set because there's there's more ghost rares in the last ghost ghost of the past the the first haunting if you want to call it that so there is more chance to actually pull a ghost rare all right so here we go so we got the first box four packs we'll start with we'll just get straight into it we'll start with the uh the cyber dragon pack and also you get five five cards in one pack they are all ultra rare they're all hollow so let's just jump straight in i'm so excited because this is an amazing set i'm probably going to uh, bump the camera a few times when doing this but hey ho all right let's get it in shot Okay, we start off with an Infernity Pawn, Ghost Trick Mummy, Deskbot 001, Cupid Pitch. Ooh, that's a good one. Neos Kluger. That's a good pull. Elemental Hero Neos Kluger. That's actually a good pull for a first pack. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. Or oh, I should probably get some sleeves. I have some sleeves. I found some sleeves. Okay, so I'm gonna actually sleeve up Kluger here. Because I think that's actually quite a good one. Good one to start off with. I'll put you in the back. Covering Dark Magician Girl. All right, we'll go for a Red Dragon Arch Fiend pack second. If you were, uh, if you clicked on this video expecting like a really fast opening, oh Mystic Shine Ball first first card in the pack. Uh, I haven't got a lot of space. It's a very awkward setup because I don't normally do this, but uh, when the opportunity comes to open a set like this, you just you can't you can't miss it. So. Mystical shine, mystical shine ball, Master Hyperion, Advanced Ritual Art. I've actually used this card quite a lot in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Doom King Bal Ballad Ballad Balladroch, and a DDD Divine Zero King Rage. That is a, that is actually the first Pendulum card that I have ever pulled. Can you tell that I don't open Yu-Gi-Oh! cards all that often? That is pretty cool looking. I'm not a big fan of the way that Pendulum cards look. To be completely honest, but yeah, this one's cool. Right, on to the next pack, which is a Dark Magician Girl pack. Try and open these as quickly as I can, because we have quite a few packs to go through today. 
Right. In shot, we have Vision Hero Gravito. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Perform a pal misdirector. Uh, Plunder Patrol Ship Murek. A Sandwich. <laughs> That's a funny one. Fallen Sanctuary. And that is the last card for that pack. I am very optimistic, shall I say, about getting a Ghost Rare from this set. Next is a Blue Eyes pack. This is the last pack of the first box. Ghost Rares are so gorgeous. It's a joke. And with the cards that they've uh, actually brought out as Ghost Rare in this set, the value is crazy on them. Uh, Agent of Creation Venus. Rookie Warrior Lady. Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon. That is a cool one for me, at least, because I am a big fan of the Red Eyes. Any Red Eyes card, I really like that. I'm actually going to put that in a sleeve in a minute. Manju of 10,000 Hands. I actually use this card quite a lot on um, Master Duel as well for the old Rituals. And Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. That is a cool pack. I really like that pack. I'm going to sleeve these two up. So yeah, as I was saying, the uh, the ghost rares in this set are like stupidly rare, as you probably are already aware. And if you're not, they are stupid rare. And as a result of that, they are dummy expensive. I think the cheapest, the cheapest ghost rare from this set has to be the Eye of Tamias, if I am correct in saying that. I think it's about, I want to say like a $40 card or something along those lines anyway. But then you got things like Ghost Rare Blue Eyes, Ghost Rare, Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl that go for like ridiculous prices. They're like a six, seven hundred dollar card. It's mad. Right. I'm going to cut to when I open the uh, the second box because this is probably going to take a little while. And then I'm like dodging loads of like, oh, look, I'm destroying everything. I'm destroying the setup, guys. I'm so sorry. I do apologize. I'm not a master at this. I do need to get myself a better setup for opening cards. And also, I was a bit confused when these turned up because I've seen other videos uh, of people opening this set and the packaging is different. Like for other people, I don't know if it's like an American thing. You can see me like reaching over the camera, uh, the boom arm for the mic. But I've seen like Americans open this set and their boxes are just like boxes. They just open the box and then the packs just fall out. We haven't got all this plastic stuff going on. All right, so we've got Cyber Dragon first. We'll start Cyber Dragon first again. Let's go crack straight into it. Uh, we start off with a 10 ye. Let's get in focus. 10 ye spirit. Stana. Insector Gigamantis. Primatech Laplacian. I think that's how you pronounce that. Insector Sword Zectac Zectala Zec Zectacalibur. That's how you pronounce that one. Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. And that is the last one for that pack. Red Dragon Archfiend pack. Let's go. Let's let's go. There are other um just like ultra rares because every card in this set is ultra rare unless it is a ghost rare there are some really cool ones to pull like um criston criston something halky vibrax that is a very good card i know from master duel and that's quite an expensive one uh the agent of mystery earth infernity sage that's a duplicate uh dramaturge of despia mecha phantom beast cult wing and a Mystical Sand. That's a quite a cool one. That looks like quite a, an old card. Being a fusion without an effect. You don't really see that a lot these days. Right, let's get into the uh, third pack of this box. We are officially now over halfway through. After this pack. And we start off with Ghost Trick Lantern. Brute Enforcer. Crimson Knight Vampire Bram. A Doom King Baladrock. That is the second one we pulled of that. And that is the second DDD Divine Zero King Rage that we've pulled as well. So there we go. Last pack of this box. It's a blue eyes pack. Come on. Let's bring the luck. If I actually pull a Ghost Rare today, I'll absolutely go mental because I'm not expecting to pull one. But hey, you don't know if you don't try. Ghost Trick Jiangxi. Ghost Trick Lantern. Two Ghost Tricks in a row. Uh, DDD Duo Dawn King Kali Yuga. That's a very long name. Great Mammoth of Goldfine. 
Outburst Dragon. That's quite a cool one. I might put you in a sleeve. And this is actually my very first Yu-Gi-Oh video of any variety. So here comes the question of today's video. If you have watched Yu-Gi-Oh or played it or whatever, what is your favorite card in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let me know down below in the comments. I'll tell you mine. Mine is Dark Magician Girl, followed closely by the Blue Eyes and White Dragon you see behind me, in front of me even. So we've got Blue Eyes and Dark Magician Girl on the front of this box. What could that possibly mean? Is that a sign? Is that a sign? I don't know. See all this unnes unnecessary plastic, just for four packs. Just put them in the box and let me open them. Right, should we, sh should we shift up the order? We started with Cyber Dragon last time. Let's start with a Red Dragon Archfiend pack this time. Let's crack open to these. Yu-Gi-Oh packs are so much easier to open than Pokemon card packs. Just because of the little uh, serrated edges. Insector Hornet. The Agent of Miracles, Jupiter. Glow Up Bloom. Tatsu Necro. Another Outburst Dragon, that's cool. I quite like that card. I don't know if it's good or not, but it looks cool. We'll keep that there for a sleeve. Uh, let's go Dark Magician Girl next. We'll pop you next to your brethren. There we go. To keep bumping the camera, I do apologize. Ghost Trick, Jiang Shi. The Agent of Miracles, Jupiter. Sanctuary of... I can't really see that. Par Shaft. That's a cool looking card. Princess Cologne. Whoa! This is the one I was talking about. Kriston Halki for Brax. So um, there is a debate on how to pronounce this guy's name. Give it a go and tell me how to pronounce it in the comments. But Kriston Halki Fibrax. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Because that's what makes the most sense to me. This is about, I want to say about $10, $10 card. And it's really good, actually. So that's a win. I'm happy with that. Let's get your get a little sleeve for you. Cool looking card. I am not really that familiar with the uh, the whole link, the like the newer versions of cards like link summoning cards and pendulum cards. Uh, Xyz is another one. The black ones. This is an Xyz card. If you didn't know, if you're watching this, you probably do know. But there you go. That's a good. That's a good one. I'm happy with that. We've got two packs left. We have the Cyber Dragon and the Blue Eyes. Which one should we do? Should we save Blue Eyes for last? I think that's a good idea. Alright, Cyber Dragon. I believe in the heart of the cards. I believe. Let's go. Vision Hero Gravity... Grava... I've said this before. Vision Hero Gravito. There we go. Altergeist Failover. Rare Fish. Damn, with a lion's head. That is rare. Plunder Patrol Ship, Muruk. Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord. That is a new card, I'm pretty sure. That is an Xyz Pendulum Monster. That is quite cool. Very cool indeed. Right, last pack of magic, guys. Can we do it? The odds are stacked against us. The blue eyes. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. This legendary dragon is an engine of destruction. Those who have faced this awesome creature often don't live to tell the tale or something like that. Tell the tale. Victorica Angel of Bravery. Track Black. Zombie World. That's a cool one. Vampire Sucker. And the last card is another Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. So no Ghost Rare, unfortunately, in this video, but I did not actually expect to get a Ghost Rare out of only three boxes. Seeing as you can only get, like the pull rate seem to be like one or two in every case or so. But I'm quite happy. We got a Criston Halki Fibrax, which is a, a big hit. I think Rainbow Dragon's a pretty big hit. Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon is a big hit for me because I personally like the um, the Red Eyes cards in whatever form they come in. Kluger is also a good one, I'm pretty sure. I've heard people talk about this with high regard, so that's quite a cool one. 
and then we've got two outburst dragons there's probably there's probably some good cards that i haven't mentioned in the in the uh the packs that we pulled from but i'm not an expert when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. so that's oh i just bumped the mic again that's where my naivety comes in so if i had to pick four these are the four that are the biggest hits out of today's opening okay so that is a uh, that is it for today's uh Yu-Gi-Oh opening if you if you guys enjoy the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff i know it's very different if you've subscribed to me for pokemon purely then i understand if you don't really like the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff but if you do enjoy the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff make sure to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below and i will get more stuff in because we didn't pull a ghost rare today that doesn't mean i'm not going to pull one in the future i'm definitely going to go after one of these ghosts because they are sick and with all that being said, guys, I have been Oliver, that is OLVR, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.